Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. So here we will see how to pass data back to previous screen if you use Flutter and we're gonna do that using GetX. So right now here I'm on this screen and this is a button so I'm going to click on this so it would pop up a new page or web view in my case this is a web view it doesn't matter it could be any screen so once I click on this I want to return some information back to our previous page and how do you do that well first over here you have to know that when you first initiate your first page or first screen which is this one over here we have this get.2 and over here we are using a screen all right okay so we go to new screen and this is a new screen all right and new screen inside this i have like a button okay now this button inside has this get.back we know that if we use getx get.back takes you to the earlier page so as we go to the earlier page actually we are sending a message it could be any message any string message any any kind of message okay well in my case it's a dynamic message if you want you can just simply go ahead and put a string and it would work and you have to assign the string to a variable called result yes it has to be this one you cannot really randomly change it okay so this get dot back gets triggered when i click over here so when i click on this this get dot back gets triggered and it passes the data back to earlier page earlier page the place where you have triggered it initially so this is the place where we have triggered everything initially right so this is the place that we have triggered to go to another page so over here as you see before get to we are using await so you have to do await because it is asynchronous operation and then you get the value whatever it returns you save it in a variable and we are checking for a string in my in my case i'm checking for a string is success okay because i know over here this value is a success so that's why i have success over here so whatever you pass from here you have to check that one okay all right so we are checking this and if the condition is true we are actually printing hello of course you could do with this data anything you want okay it's just a dummy example so let's go ahead and check that so i'll go back as i go back i'll see that over here i'm printing hello which is this one all right so the idea is if you use get x so from the last page if you want to send message to earlier page so just send whatever the string message you want you can put it inside the result variable and in your first page check for that variable value and do rest of the stuff you want with it